If you caught the last episode, you know we were fishing with Captain Jason Stock, out surging for blackfin tuna, uh, and we got him. Ah, <laughs> gotcha, got him. You know, we, we got a ton of footage, and after, you know, 11 o'clock here, we're thinking, we need a part two. We need, there's no way we could fit all this footage into one episode. So we had to put it into another one. This was an opportunity for us to go inside, fish for a little different species, and we absolutely had a ball. You'll definitely want to see this. Inward we go, and we get to a ledge. Stock goes back there, throws the chum basket over the back, and it starts throwing chunks of bonita out the back. And all of a sudden, a monster group of mangrove snappers start rising to the surface. Stock is losing his mind. That's what, I mean, honestly, I get excited just thinking about just his excitement of watching those fish rise. Oh, so, dude. Oh God, they're already up to the surface. Yeah! It's on, dude. It is on, look at them, oh, they're eating the chunks! I swear, <laughs> Yeah, they're fired up. I see them, yeah. Boom, boom. What? Yeah, they're charged, they're charged up. Got him that time. Mangies. Daddy likes to eat Maggie's. Oh yeah. I need results. Huh? Dude. Oh, oh, there oh, oh. Let's go! Oh, come on. Let him suck a little bit. How many we want to grease of these things? It's up to you, man. I like, I like to eat some Snapples. I mean, the hook. Back, back home, that looked like catfish bait, man. <laughs> Get in there. El Gato. Oh, dude, they're frothing. Oh, there's some red snapper coming up to the surface, dude. Okay, I'm coming oh! in right here. I'm coming in right Look here. Look at them all. Dude. Heavy froth. All right, we're on. Oh, we're greasing them. Need results, need results. <laughs> Ooh, you're on, puppy. Ooh, oh. let's go! No. Oh. Con, make oh. con. <laughs> All right, let's go. Nice, man. Oh, yeah. Oh. Daddy likes. Size that well, you th I thought you said the chunk was too big. <laughs> yeah, that's a stud. We pulled up the mangoes, they're already frothing and they're coming up in the chum slick. So you know you're gonna catch them as soon as they come up. And I mean, they can get leader shy and this and that, but you know you're gonna have your opportunity to, that's the big thing is you get those windows and you better be ready for it. After we caught a couple of snapper and, and put a few in the box, you know, the fish got a little smart. You know, they started settling down a little bit and, you know, we just had to get a little bit more technical on them, you know, drop down leader size uh, and uh, change up the bait. We gave them a little different look. We put some pinfish down on that same, on the same jig heads and caught more fish. You know, it's just kind of changing with what's happening as it goes. It's not 100%, you know, static across the board. You have to kind of go with the flow. And in order to put more fish to the boat, we make those changes and it worked. Uh-oh. Daddy? Oh. Pelagic. I think. <laughs> Unless it's daddy. Ooh. No, he was going. Uh-oh. What's it feel like? Uh-oh, size large. Come on, don't be a red snapper. Be that daddy man. Oh yeah, Poppy. Oh, good one. I can't call if it's a pinky or... <laughs> oh, it looks like a mango. Oh yeah. 
Large. Large? Pretty large. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Daddy likes. Oh yeah, daddy likes, daddy likes. Mangus Khan in the flesh. <laughs> Let's Ooh. go! That's the one. That's getting much, much closer to that. God, look how fat he is. He, he kind of cut out heavy. All right, so he is five pounds. Solid work. God, he's a fat one too, They are man. pretty, aren't they? God. Well, the nice thing is sometimes when you get a chance to fish with another captain or guide or whatever you want to call it, basically, like, we're both on the same page. We're after the same goals. You know, we don't have to, like, hey, do this. It was just, like, natural. Like, all right, just put out the bait, do this, go here. Now, it's funny the different personalities. We were talking about the different personalities you fish with and kind of interact with and that are in the game of charter fishing. There's a lot of, a lot of different ones. Right around this depth, depth, it definitely gets like Nat Geo. I mean, you don't know what's gonna show up out here. We haven't even put out a fly line yet because the mangoes are chewing really good, so. Yes, they are. I mean, we might as well get some dinner. We got some tuna, we got some snapper. We'll even be nice this one. We'll just let them eat on this one. We're just farming them right now. <laughs> just farming them. Oh, God. Oh. So. Oh. There he is. Oh, yeah. Better one? Yep, yeah, feels good. Damn it. Yeah. Almost like that little circle of, I don't know if I have any small circle ones, the, the hog bowl ones. Woo! Nice, man. Yeah. Which one did you go? Oh, you went with the hog ball. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I know, I went with Sneaky Pete, but. They're, they're still fine with that one, so I might. Yep. Oh. We're back. We're back. <laughs> Not that big. If he doesn't qualify, just toss him. Yeah, we'll be nice to him. See? We're just going large, Harvey. So we're just going to be nice to him. cool thing is after a long day on the water you get back to the dock you know you got some fish to clean but we're we're just chilling out there clean some fish and we we had a great time telling jokes telling stories um, that's what the end of the day fishing with some friends is about and I really look forward to the opportunity to do it again dude I'm glad that weather held off for us for to get out there where I caught those tuna yesterday yeah I mean, that was, that's a big deal. I mean, this time of year, especially with these approaching cold fronts, I mean, we're still, I mean, we're in February. This is right. winter. So like, I mean, to get like sweet weather for this time of year, it's definitely <laughs> appreciated. No doubt. Well, we both spend a lot of time on the water. We know that those days are sometimes few and far between, but uh, I'm super happy about what we got. These, my first, Black fin. Yeah. I mean, I know, I know that might seem a little hard to, you know, accept, but the truth is, you know, I don't spend enough time out there. Yeah, you know, no you're doubt. going way out. Oh yeah. No, they get in closer. I mean, which I mean closer. I, I catch them within like 15 miles. I mean, that's close. But yeah, we made the charge today, and luckily we had the weather to do it. You know. Yeah, I think um, we had everything going for us today, as far as weather-wise. Um, I mean, to be able to take that Pathfinder, you know, that far out and really handle it no problem. The bait and preparation is a big key of it, as we talked about this morning. Oh, yeah. So we didn't have to mess with it in the morning. We just like, I mean, we, we pulled the traps in the morning, but that was not a big deal. I mean, yeah, we, we were done catching the tuna by noon, really. Yep. And then uh, <laughs> we went like, to catch some mangoes, you know? And they were I mean, fired up. They were fired up. I mean, you know, it's funny, like we lost a couple and then they kind of 
get a little shy for a second. Like they caught on to us? Oh, 100%. <laughs> but, you know, that's what keeps them there and they don't eat all the time. And honestly, we got plenty of meat and everybody's stoked, caught plenty of fish. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. As we're filleting these fish up, you know, Stock says, I'm gonna break out the soy. And I, I kind of looked at it, the crew looked at me and we all thought it was a joke. Moments later, he brings he brings the soy sauce, slaps it down on the table. We're ready, boys. I'm just cutting up some little sushimi pieces just off the. We'll get the. It don't get any fresher than that, buddy. No. Nah. 